Now listen to me. You need to listen to me. You cannot keep coming around here. Okay? You can't keep coming. No. The answer's no. The answer's no. Oh, hello. <laughs> I didn't hear you come in. So, stranger danger. Stranger danger. Stranger danger. <laughs> For any child of the 1970s, that was the mantra repeated by strict school teachers to warn them of a foreboding abduction. And I'm not talking about aliens. With that in mind, let us uh, check out some strangers of our own. As, uh, as the hipster, off you go, I'll run up the stairs. As the hipster observes an outsider encroaching on its territory, a greeting ritual more likely commences. Judith! Oh, hey, Myra. What's up? This is awesome. Oh, yes. To you, to you. Lovely. Sorrel said it was just going to be us tonight. Sorrel? Yes, didn't she say she was expecting me? Simon muttered something about it, but Sorrel didn't mention it. How strange. Girl, you're crazy. <laughs> but you look great, <laughs> oh, oh, I'm so glad you think so. Personally, I feel a nervous breakdown as anything. So, Sandy, uh, you've arrived. Oh, yeah, I like Mandy's. You must forgive me for acting somewhat peculiar. <laughs> Has Casper gotten you a drink? Yeah, he won't stop bringing them to me. <laughs> It, it's so lovely to see you. Yeah. Oh, thank you. It is nice, isn't it? Yeah. Um, uh, Cocktail? Oh, lovely. Thank you very much. Yeah. I, I'm competing in a couple of weeks. Oh, I would love to see you play. Uh, I am nothing special. Mm. <laughs> Don't be silly. You won the bronze. Yeah, th that was a while ago, though. Well, it doesn't discredit it. You look amazing. I'm so glad. I found one. Myra! You look marvelous! Don't touch me, it's too hot. You look beautifully cool. Better than being a frigid bitch like Judith. Why? What did she say? Nothing, don't worry about it. Oh, I should, uh... Um, yes, uh, fa fascinating stuff. Uh, let, us, let us go back over here, uh, where I can pick up the stench of pheromones hanging in the air. I was trying to meet you for weeks, and um, we finally got through last week. You know, you. I liked you right away. You have such a nice shape. Really, you do. You have small hips and lovely broad shoulders. <laughs> I wish David had smaller hips. Do you think you could teach him your sport? Yeah, sure. I mean, if he wants to, I'll be mm, okay. See, that's just the problem. I'm afraid he won't want to. He's so dreadfully on that sort of thing. Who, who's David? My husband. Mmm, well, there oh. you go. Uh, yeah. Well, as sure as the brutal autumn wind bashes against the uh, frail brown leaf of the proverbial tree, I find myself getting blown about asking, what's the bloody point? Observe. Oh, she adores you, really. I'm sure she does. You look stunning. Thank you, Simon. Now, are you pleased to see me? Of course, that's why I came. Darling! Shh, don't shout! I feel so colossally temperamental. I should like to kiss you, and 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 then break everything in the house and jump in the L.A. River. Good God. You're everything I want you to be. Face, perfect clothes, perfect brain. I, oh God, it's terrible. Anyway, I had dinner with Charlie Templeton last night. Well, you only did that to annoy me. No, I didn't. We can't go on like this. I'm not going on like anything. You're very nice and I like you. What have you been doing? Tell me everything. Nothing. What did you do after you had dinner with Charlie Templeton? I fucked Charlie Templeton. Oh, well, I hope you had a great time. Oh, no. If there's one thing I despise, it's 
first thing. Why did you say, oh, like that? Well, because I thought your husband was dead. <laughs> no, he's not dead, he's downstairs. You're thinking about that experimental short film we made about the death of innocence. Have you seen my most recent performance? Oh, yes, of course. I mean, you were you were incredible. That is what drew me. That to is you. so wonderful. I thought no one gave a shit about theater in Los Angeles. No, no, no. I do. You were so brave. Oh, Was I? Go on. Well, I mean, I, I feel silly now talking about this because it doesn't matter what I. Well, don't say that because of course it matters to me, anyhow. Really? Certainly. Well, um. I feel like we've known each other for such a long time, like, like, like we're old friends, you know? Would you like to give me a cigarette? I, I don't smoke. Oh. What, back up at, oh, bloody joking, honestly, it's the most exercise I've had in about a year. Uh, okay, back down here. You look sad. Wanna make out? You don't really want me. <sighs> David. He's working on his new blog, The Eroticism of Yoga Instructors and Meat. He's such a good writer. He is, isn't he? He drinks too much, though. Mm. Who's Judith talking to? Uh, Sandy Tyrell. Who's Sandy Tyrell? Never heard of him! Wow, fascinating stuff. I'm sure I'll agree that was all very door-centric. Doors are fascinating, aren't they? On the one hand, opening up new possibilities. On the other, shutting you out. Shutting you out like a, a young footloose student. Cambridge, 1972, fraternity. Sorry, um, yeah, <laughs> until next time, goodbye.